Good morning. It's Tuesday already. I know. You're wondering what happened to Monday? Well, not much. Really, it's nothing to do in the morning. Just did my thing. And then after work, Jenna came with me to go grocery shopping. We came home, put the food away, ate a little dinner, and then I fell asleep. It's like, oh, it was like, I don't know, 6 30, 7. I was like, oh, I'll just take a nap. And then I woke up. I was like, no, I want to sleep more. And I think I ended up sleeping from like 7 until like 4 30 in the morning. A lot of sleep. Same thing on Sunday evening. I slept a lot. Like, I've just been so tired. So hopefully that means the baby's having a growth spurt. I don't know. I guess we'll see. We have an appointment tonight. So it's before work again. Um, now it's Thursday. Yeah, I know. Not really been filming much, but um, Tuesday, uh, had an OB appointment. I'm sorry we didn't get to film, but just kind of forgot the camera. <laughs> and Wednesday too. So anyways, OB appointment went really well. Uh, found the baby's heartbeat right away. Everything's been the same, blood pressure's good, so really no concerns there. Just, you know, same old, same old. A uh, little bit of pain now every once in a while, but still it's really no big deal. But Wednesday I came home, well, went home, and I ate dinner and I fell asleep. Like I said, I've just been really tired. I've been sleeping a lot this week. That's why I haven't been filming much. Um, but yesterday, Wednesday was really busy. Like I said, I worked pretty much all day and well I was helping with someone at work so I was at work from like around 8 in the morning until almost 8 30 at night so I didn't get home and I just was tired and then that's been the week so far uh, we have a baby class I don't think we can film there but maybe you can look at the hospital I don't know and yeah Jenna will be gone this weekend, so I'll try to film more on the weekend so you can see what's going on there. So I better get heading to work. See you later. Right now, I'm heading into the baby sale thing. We'll see. This is crazy. There's so many things. I don't know if I want the high chair or not, though. Hey, um, so I got done shopping. That was actually a consignment sale. Yeah. Anyways, I just realized something. Hold on. Anyways, I left the door open. Well, not like the screen door, but anyways, I wanted to show you what I got from there from the baby sale. Uh, like I said, it's a consignment sale, so, you know, people can sell their things there, and then, like, the company sells them and people get part of the profit. So, anyways. Last thing is the high chair. Yes, we got the IKEA high chair. I do have to clean it and get rid of like a sticker because it's just kind of dirty and old, but it was $10. The actual Ikea high chair is like $20 and this just has a little bit of wear, so for $10, sure. So that's it. They did have two. One looked brand new, but it was $20 and that's how much it cost at Ikea. And this one was $10, half off, and there's only like a few scratches on it. Who cares, right? I mean, it looks fine. Plus, yeah. Actually, I had to figure out how to get the tray off. I finally did it. Hold on. Okay, hopefully you can see me. Anyways, um, the IKEA high chair originally is what I wanted. I put that down on my registry. And I had heard, you know, they're cheap, but they're actually really great. 
it's easy to clean, all of this stuff. So I put it on my registry earlier. And then after that, I noticed that another uh, soon-to-be mother, one of my coworkers, same thing. She had the Ikea high chair in her registry. And then we went to visit Jenna's family, who live in Virginia, and they happened to have an Ikea store there. Because my area, like the northern New York area, I think the closest one we have is a few hours away up in Canada, in Toronto. <laughs> But anyways, we went to the Ikea, took a look around, you know, just for some fun shopping. And we found the high chair. And I thought, well, it's really nice. But the tray was so hard to get off. Like, we couldn't get it off. And I thought, well, obviously, I'm not going to be able to buy this because it can't get the tray off. Not end of the world, though. But then recently, I thought, well, no, there's got to be an easier way. So I Googled it. And they said, yes, you can do it. And I'm like, but I can't figure it out. So when I went to the sale today... I saw it and I was like, oh, I really want it, but no. And then I went back and Jenna said, well, if it's a good, you know, deal, then why not? So I was like, I am going to figure out how to get the tray off. If not, I won't buy it. So I Googled it and it's like, you just got to rip it off. You feel like you're going to break it, but you're not. So I was like, well, for $10, I guess if I break it, then I'll just pay for it. But I need to know. So I put my hand down and I ripped it off and it was so loud. It was funny because it was really loud and everyone like looks at me and I'm like, hey, sorry. <laughs> but you think you broke it, but it almost kind of looks like it. And I was like, crap. But then I tried to put the tray back on and it's fine. And then I pulled it off again. Yep, I can do it. So I bought it for 10 bucks. I was really excited. So long story about a high chair. But anyways, just uh, going to clean it up and... Yeah, it's really cute. Plus, I think it's about the same height as our table, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, that's close. So, probably could just, like, put the chair right up to the table without the tray, maybe. That's cool. So, let me know if you guys have an Ikea high chair. And I'm curious, do you have a hard time getting the tray off? <laughs> let me know. We'll see. Way too much. work with the pregnant belly. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Today, Jenna isn't here. She had to head out for the work for the weekend. I think she should be back tomorrow night, maybe. But I am going to clean today. A lot and lot and lot of cleaning and laundry. Hopefully some editing and filming. I really need to upload the vlog from last week. I know it's awful. It's like a week behind, but sorry. That's life. And then later, I have a birthday party I'm going to go to. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So watch me clean all day. Woo! Um... Right now, I am packing some textbooks. I had a few from the garage sale that we didn't actually try to sell because we figured we could make more money online. So that's what I'm doing, putting them in a box and sending them out. Hopefully get that this week and then get some money. So time to send out the books and try and get some money back. Uh, I think I have a package, so let's see. All right, so I just opened up our P.O. box and I got this key. Let's see what's in there. All right, 
So we got a box. This is from Munch Pack. It's a variety of different snacks inside. And yeah, I guess I will have to wait until Jenna gets home and then we can do a review and see if it's good or not. Should be fun. Um, I dropped off my box. Hopefully it should be okay. I thought the post office was supposed to be open today. It said until 2, but it seems to be closed. So, I mean, they didn't have a person there, so I just dropped it in, you know, the droppy thing. Let's hope. Hey, I am supposed to go to a birthday party, but I am exhausted. I don't know if it was just, I don't know, but I feel really worn out. So I decided I'm going to stay home, just kind of rest. I'm really sorry. I feel bad, but I'm tired. So anyways, I'm going to try to make dinner for myself. Jenna's actually coming home tonight, but it probably won't be for a few hours. So maybe like she'll get here like 8, 9, 10. I don't know. Anyways, that's what I'm doing. Just going to kind of chill out, maybe do some computer work and eat some dinner and kind of just chill for the rest of the night. I have some laundry, but yeah, we can just put that in the dryer. Yeah, boring Saturday night, but I'm fine with that. Just resting. Hello. Yep, Jenna is home. She actually got home last night, but it's already pretty late, so... Anyways, I'm actually going back to the baby sale today because there's a 50% off, so we'll see if there's anything I want. And I made a list of potential things we need, so we'll see. Jenna's staying home because she has a soccer game to watch. Yes. Hey, explain why you're not coming. Because I have soccer. That's it? So, that is my lunch. I just ate one. Now I'm going to eat a second one. Really good. It's hummus and chickpeas, which it's like, more. it's the same thing. But anyways, in a different form. Um, and some spinach, some vegan chicken patties, and spicy patties. I got a bunch of stuff from the sale, so I don't know if I want to show you all in here, because then it's just like a big haul. Um, and some from Friday. So, if you want to see it, let me know. Maybe I can do a haul with all the stuff later, but let me show you. This and all of this and that. See, I got a lot of stuff, so maybe I'll just show you later. I don't know. If not, I'll include it with the rest of this baby haul stuff I got. Cool. I think I'm just gonna delete like the footage I already did of that and then do a separate haul video. Maybe I'll just do that. Yeah, I probably will. So explain what's up. Well, I'm having a foot issue. Like, probably over a month ago, I hurt my foot from a metal chair it fell and I thought oh no big deal you know what happens it's happened to me a few times I've hit my foot and I had a bruise no biggie and then the bruise was there for quite a while but then it kind of started fading and I noticed that there was a bump on my foot and I've had that like for almost the whole month it's like this bump is really strange and I went to the doctor last week and he said well you have to get an x-ray so I did all that blah 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 Gave me medicine because he said it could be a hematoma or a bone bruise. So I'm supposed to take to medicine to help with that. And tomorrow will be a week and really hasn't changed much, at least I don't think. Do you think? Poor thing. Yeah. Anyways, I have to call the doctor tomorrow to see what's going on. And it's kind of my fault. Uh, kind of. Not really, but kind of. Not kind of, no. Oh well. I'm going to show you what I just filmed.
yeah, we just filmed something and good food. So that should be coming out soon. Now I'm going to make my dinner. Good night. All right, week is done. And filmed quite a lot did this week. But on the ASL Stew channel, I haven't posted last week. But anyways, it's been crazy. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching this week's vlog. I'm going to try to post this not a week late. I'm going to try. So we'll see. Oh, let's hope so. Anyways, remember to subscribe and like. Um, if you want to support us, you can do so through our ASL Stew merch store. Get in a sticker or a shirt. Or through Patreon or Ko-fi. Say bye. Over here. Say bye. Ooh, on the belly. Bye. Enough.